My name is Frederic Bussier. I'm a visual artist and my medium for this piece is a bamboo and lenticular print. The approach for this project was to, to learn as much as possible from the, the master who teach me how to, to carve a bamboo. I wanted to learn like stories, I wanted to learn like first techniques. So basically like starting to make a bird cage from scratch, uh, cutting the wood, uh, splitting the bamboo and assembling all of that. For me, that's a very mysterious thing. Walking around with a, a songbird in a cage um, in the park, going to a dim sum with it. Like, uh, it's a hobby I, I can't relate to anything I know in my country. We, we don't do that, of course, but there's no equivalent. So I still, I start to I stop uh, giving it uh, an ex proper explanation. I just take it uh, as it is, like a, a mystery from uh, Orient. When you see a bird cage, it seems to be done with um, many parts and many tools. But actually, there's only one material, one tool. Basically, it's only one piece of bamboo. We just allow you to make all the different parts here. Just like one bamboo like that, but it's been splitted, splitted, splitted even thinner to make like the little stick. Even the sticks are from the same big bamboo. And all of that has been carved with let's say mostly one tool, like a knife, but not any kind of knife, like a, a knife crafted by the master itself. Uh, my art piece is about memory. A certain time ago, birds were accepted like in transportation, so people could like carry the birds in the bird cage, they can take the tram, they can go see their friends, they can go to a dim sum with it, they can go to a park, but now it's not legal anymore. So he killed the, um, the hobby to his core. So I'm trying to bring back like the, um, the memory of his hobby as tradition. And uh, here we have like these two birds. They are printed on a lenticular print, like we call like tilt card actually. The two birds here actually are European birds because I was thinking uh, of giving a little like a uh, touch from my own uh, background as people move in and out from the seat, uh, they take life. For the bamboo uh, part making, I try to follow like the, the technique the master teach me. As opposite to the master, I'm not skilled in one specific domain. I'm good a bit everywhere. But the master went during 50 years or more the same path, exploring this, this very specific craft. And the knowledge he acquired is so precious and owned by very few people, actually. It was a priceless experience. Learn from him.